the Constable of France, as the first officer of the Crown, was one of the original five great officers of the Crown of France and Commander-in-Chief of the Army. He, theoretically, as Lieutenant General of the King, outranked all the nobles and was second in command only to the King. The Connetable de France was also responsible for military justice and served to regulate the chivalry. His jurisdiction was called the Connestablier. The office was established by King Philip I in 1060 with Alberic becoming the first constable. The office was abolished in 1627 in accordance with the Edict of January 1627 by Prime Minister Cardinal Richelieu, upon the death of François de Bonne, Duc de Les de Guillers, in order to strengthen the immediate authority of the king over his armed forces. The position was officially replaced by the purely ceremonial title, Dean of Marshals. In fact the most senior, Marshal of France, as the word doyen is used in French mainly in the sense of the eldest. The later title Marshal General of France or more precisely, Marshal General of the King's Camps and Armies, was bestowed on outstanding military leaders. The recipient had authority over all the French armies and garrisons engaged in a war and were senior to the Marécho de France, but had not the extended powers of the earlier Constable of France. Badge of Office The Badge of Office was a highly elaborate sword called Joyeuse, after the legendary sword of Charlemagne. Joyeuse was a sword made with fragments of different swords and used in the sacker of the French kings since at least 1271. It was contained in a blue scabbard embellished with fleur-de-lis in column from hilt to point. Traditionally, the constable was presented with the sword on taking his office. Authority after the abolition of the office of Saint-Echel in 1191, the Connetable became the most important officer in the army, and as first officer of the crown, he ranked in ceremonial precedence immediately after the peers. He had the position of Lieutenant General of the King, both within and without the kingdom. The constable had under his command all military officers, including the Marecco. He was also responsible for the financing of the army administering military justice within the host. The official name of the jurisdiction was La Connette Abelia, which he exercised with the assistance of the Marecco de France. This paralleled the court of the Lord Constable, later called Curia Militaris of Court of Chivalry, which existed in England at that time. Persons subordinate to the Constable of France Marshal of France At exceptional times the Marshal of France was sire to the Constable, depending on the decisions of the King. Colonel General, a special charge in the Royal French Army, commanding all the regiments of the same branch of service. General, Lieutenant General, the highest regular general rank of the French Army to which a career officer could be promoted on the basis of seniority. Marechal de Camp Camp Marshal, not to be confused with Field Marshal, the lowest general officer rank. In later times renamed Major General and equivalent to the present-day General de Brigade. Portori Flammer, a very prestigious honorary position, not a rank, which gave the right to carry the royal banner in battle. Grand Master of Crossbowmen, Grand Master of Artillery. From the beginning of the 17th century, the Grand Master of the Artillery became as great officer of the crown and immediate subordinate of the king and was no longer under the command of the constable, not under the authority of the constable. The title, Lieutenant General of the Realm, was not a military rank. It was bestowed by the French king at times of crisis on a royal prince of his choice who thus became the commander general of the entire kingdom, including the civil services, the armed forces and the Connetable de France, until the moment the king chose to take back the supreme authority in his own hands. Constables of France Note that there are gaps in the dates as the position was not always filled following the demise of its occupant. Constables of the Kings of France The Capetian Dynasty Alberic 1060-1065, Balberic 1065-1069, 
Gauthier, 1069 to 1071, Ad Alelm, 1071 to 1075, Adam, 1075 to 1085, Thibault, Seigneur de Montmorency, 1085 to 1107, Gaston de Chanmunt, 1107 to 1108. Hugues Le Borgner de Chanmunt, 1108 to 1135, Mathieu de Montmorency, 1138, Simon de Neufle Le Chateau, 1165, Raoul I de Clermont, 1174 to 1191, Dro I V de Mello, 1194 to 1218, Mathieu I Le Grand, Baron de Montmorency, 1218 to 1231. Amory V de Montfort, 1231 to 1240; Humbert V de Beaujeu, 1240 to 1248; Giles II de Trassignes, 1248 to 1277; Humbert V de Beaujeu, 1277; Raoul II de Clermont, 1277 to 1307; Gaucher V de Chatillon, 1307 to 1329. The Valois dynasty Raoul I of Brienne, Count of Eu and Guinness, 1329-1344. Raoul II of Brienne, Count of Eu and Guinness, 1344-1350. Charles de la Cerda, 1350-1354. Jacques de Bourbon, Count of La Marche, 1354-1356. Walter V. Brienne, 1356. Robert Morian de Fines, 1356-1370. Bertrand du Guesclin, 1370-1380. Olivier I. V. de Clisson, 1380-1392. Philip of Artois, Count of Eu, 1392-1397. Louis de Sancerre, 1397-1402. Charles d'Albret, Comte de Dreux, 1402 to 1411. Walleran, Count of St. Paul, 1411 to 1413. Charles d'Albret, Comte de Dreux, 1413 to 1415. Bernard Seven, Count of Almagnac, 1415 to 1418. Charles II, Duke of Lorraine, 1418 to 1424. John Stuart, 2nd Earl of Buchan, 1424, Arthur III, Duke of Brittany, 1425, John Talbot, 1st Earl of Shrewsbury, 1445-1453, Louis de Luxembourg, Count of St. Paul, 1465, John II, Duke of Bourbon, 1483-1488, the Valois Angoulême dynasty Charles III, Duke of Bourbon, 1518 to 1523, and de Montmorency, Grand Maitre de France, 1538 to 1567. The Bourbons Henry I de Montmorency, 1593 to 1621. Charles d'Albert, Duc de Luynes, 1621. François de Bonne, Duc de Les de Guillers, 1622-1626. First Empire during the Consulate Regime, the deposed Bourbon dynasty, through the Comte d'Artois, allegedly offered Napoleon Bonaparte, at that time First Consul of the Republic, the title of Constable of France, if he would restore the Bourbons as Kings of France. Bonaparte declined the offer. However, in 1808, Emperor Napoleon I did appoint himself the grand dignitaries of the French Empire, among them his younger brother Louis Bonaparte, as new constable and marshal of the Empire Louis Alexander Berthier, the French Army Chief of Staff and Prince of Neuchâtel as new vice constable. Both titles were of a purely honorific nature and disappeared with the Napoleonic regime. Movies, If I Were King, 1938, with François Villon, who was appointed by Louis XI, King of France, to be Constable of France for one week. Various versions of Shakespeare's play Henry V depict Constable Charles d'Albret, Comte de Drou, who was appointed by Charles VI of France and was killed in the Battle of Agincourt. He is played by Leo Genn in the 1944 film, by Richard Easton in the 1989 film, and by Maxime Le Francois in the 2012 film. In the 1944 film he dies in personal combat with King Henry.
In the 1989 film he is depicted as falling from his horse into the mud. In the 2012 film he is shot by a longbowman after stabbing the Duke of York in the back in woodland away from the main battle.